game on media. Shout out to Fidel Olafia, who plays for the Hano Falka. Fidel, thank you for joining us. How are you today? Hi, Dan. I'm very well, and you? Cannot complain. Fidel, let's get right into it. You made your professional debut for the Falka in 2013 after finishing your matric at a relatively unknown rugby school. Did this make it harder for you to make it to the top? Yes, no, it, it, it definitely made it much harder uh, for me. Um, after school, I worked for a primary school in Boxburg and I had to play club rugby for Boxburg Rugby Club. And through that, I went and I played trials for the Falcons under 19 character side. And from there on, that's where the senior team um, spotted me. And it was from the end of that year, from the end of 2011 that I was in and out of the Falcon structure and at the beginning of 2013 they contracted contracted me full time. Fredo, what would you change in terms of schoolboys, the schoolboy setup in South Africa and what are for players that get lost in the system to be noticed like yourself? I think this uh, this Verseker Beker they launched, I, I, I'm not sure if they launched it this year or, or last year but I think that's a great initiative that they started. Um, I think they should start more um, competitions like that to get players' names out there because in that competitions you don't only have the big schools competing but you also have the smaller schools competing and I think that gives opportunities for the players from smaller schools as well to get their name out there and to get spotted by the right people. Definitely. Riddle, the Falca are a small union and often struggle to match the likes of the Golden Lions and Blue Bulls. How do you as a team negate this? Well, at the Falcons itself, we have a policy of we don't fear any team and we don't underestimate any, te- any team, but at the same time, we respect everyone to play against. So each week we get back to the office, we start a new, we go back to the drawing board, we sort our heads out, we as a team work together to get everybody right for the game. And then on game day, we 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 focus, we don't make jokes, try to get everybody on the same page. So when we get between those four lines that everybody just go full out and give it their all. And what are your thoughts on the Supersport Rugby Challenge? I think it's a great uh, competition. It allows players from the bigger unions, uh, the younger players from bigger unions to get opportunities to to play uh, when they're not in the in the um, Super Rugby Challenge. And also when they, their competitions haven't started yet. So I think that gives the under-21s a lot of potential and privileges to play there. And I also think the the players from smaller unions get, get great exposure to play against the bigger unions and to get their names out there. Talk us through the experience of running out for your 50th cap for the Falco, which you did earlier this year. For me, it was a great experience. Um, I had the privilege to run out with my daughter. So it was great for me. Um, we played that game against the Blue Bulls on our home field. So it was a very great experience having my family there, having my friends there, having people from my from my high school there. It was a great experience to to just be on that field that day in front of everybody that knows me and, and always supports me. Well, we at Game of Media would like to uh, congratulate you on your 50th cap for the Falca. Thank you very much. Your rugby aspirations, where do you want to go with your rugby? Well, my, my dream has been from a little boy to to represent the country. So obviously that's still there, even though I'm at a small union now. So my dream is obviously to, to move on to the bigger unions, to play Super Rugby, to hopefully represent my country one day. And if that doesn't happen, to go overseas and go make it big out there. As we end up, if you had a special message for the younger rugby players out there, what would you say to them to motivate them, especially guys from you know schools like like the one that, that, that you matriculated at, where they're not necessarily very big schools. What would you say to them to motivate them? I would tell them to never give up. Don't, the, the, it doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down. Um, hard work always pays off. If you put in the effort, if you put in the hard yards, you will get noticed. You will get out there. You just mustn't give up. I know sometimes it gets hard. I know it, it feels as if you're just wasting your time, but you don't, you, you, you're not wasting your time. Just keep on giving it your all. Keep on giving it your best. You will succeed. There you have it. Riddle, Game On Media would like to thank you for spending some time with us today. I would like to thank you as well, Dan. Thank you very much for this opportunity, for doing this interview with me. I appreciate it a lot, and I support your initiative all the way.